We're making an easy, healthy apple crisp. So I have about four apples. You could do four or five, depending how big they are, sliced up. And now I'm just adding in a little bit of lemon juice. Make sure I don't get that seed in there. So a little bit of lemon juice, some cinnamon, probably about a teaspoon of cinnamon. This is one of my tried and true favorite recipes to make in the fall and winter time. Apples are so delicious right now, so this recipe is gonna be that much more yummy. So now I'm adding in a fourth cup of maple syrup for some natural sweetness. So just drizzling that right on top. And then last but not least, you're gonna take a little bit of arrowroot starch or you could use cornstarch. And I'm gonna add in about two teaspoons. So there's one and two. So two teaspoons of arrowroot starch. Sometimes it's called arrowroot powder or arrowroot flour but it's arrowroot, tapioca starch, or cornstarch will all work. So we are gonna give these a good mix so that they're evenly coated. This already smells so good with the apples, the maple syrup, and the cinnamon. This is also a perfect recipe to make if you went apple picking or to the apple orchard, or honestly, just get your apples at the store. That's what I did, because they are so good right now they're in season. So giving those a good toss and then we're just gonna kind of gently flatten and spread them out so they're evenly distributed throughout our dish. If you love apple pie but don't want to put in the time and effort to make the actual pie, this is such a great alternative that's also healthier. Okay, so my oven is preheated at 350. These are gonna go into the oven and while these bake, we'll work on our crumble topping so we'll stick these in the oven at 350 and then we'll make our crumble top. <laughs> then we'll make our crumble topping. Sorry, I don't know why I had to say that twice, but I guess you guys get the picture. All right, into the oven at 350. I'm so excited. My house is gonna smell so good. All right, it has been 20 minutes. My house smells like apple pie. So we are just bringing these apples over to the table and I'm just gonna give these a good stir so that they are evenly coated again in all of that maple syrup and just so they cook evenly through. Look at how good these look. This on its own is honestly such a great treat. You could put it over Greek yogurt or ice cream or an oatmeal bowl. Now we'll go ahead and set this aside so that we can make our crumble topping. So in a bowl, I'm gonna add one cup of oats, one half cup of gluten-free flour. If you don't need this recipe to be gluten-free, you could use regular flour. A fourth cup of sweetener. I used coconut sugar, but you could also use brown sugar or regular sugar. We're gonna add in about a fourth cup of chopped walnuts or pecans. I personally love pecans, but I just happen to have walnuts on hand, so that's what I'm using today. And then you need one third cup of melted coconut oil or butter. So if you wanna keep this recipe completely dairy-free, you can use melted coconut oil, but I'm using melted butter. Now we're gonna add in some cinnamon, and then last but not least, just a pinch of salt. Now we will give this a good mix. This is one of my favorite desserts of all time. And that means a lot coming from me because typically I like my chocolate or vanilla or peanut buttery desserts more than a fruit dessert. But this is just so good, especially like I said in the fall or winter. Now we're gonna go back to our apples and we're just gonna kind of evenly distribute this crumble topping over the apples. And then we're gonna bake this one more time for about 25 more minutes to get that crumble topping nice and baked with those cooked walnuts. It is so delicious. Let me know in the comments, what is your favorite apple dessert? 
I wanna try more apple desserts, so let me know in the comments what your favorite apple desserts are, and maybe I'll give them a try. Also, remember to be careful with the dish because it is still hot from when we baked the apples. So like I said, this is gonna go back in the oven at 350 for 25 minutes. Okay, our apple crisp has come out of the oven and cooled a bit. So I'm going to get right in there. Look at those cooked, cinnamony, delicious apples. Look right in here. You can see all of that cinnamon goodness. I am so excited to eat this. This goes so fast in my house. Even if it's just me, I will eat this entire pan in like a couple days or a few days. They're just so good. Okay, so I made some homemade whipped cream a couple days ago. So I'm gonna add a little bit of that on top. And we will go in for the taste test. But first, let's do a quick 360 <laughs> to show how good those apples look with that crumble topping. All right, I can't wait any longer. Make sure I get some whipped cream. This is fall on a plate. Mm. 